Friday and it is time to imagine it. I am here with Carl Nelson inside of the think tank inside the Ideal, Ideal Lab. What are we doing today? Well, the other day I passed by our gift shop okay. and we saw all sorts of cool kits. And this one caught my eye because it, it's hot ice crystals. Ooh, okay. sounds fun. So I got the kit and I ripped it open and I've been sort of cooking up some stuff over here. And the whole idea behind this is about saturated solutions. If you've ever made Kool-Aid in the summertime mm -hmm. and you pour the sugar in and you try to pour more sugar in because you want it to be really sugary. Sure. At some point, you won't be able to dissolve any more sugar. There's a limit Ooh. at room temperature of how much solid you can dissolve in the water. Okay. But if you heat that water up a little bit, you can dump a lot more sugar in. Kind of like jello? Eh, kind of. Sort of kind of. Kind of. Okay. But what happens is you get more and more in there because the water molecules are moving around faster. They can break apart those sugar molecules and they dissolve. The cool thing happens is when you let that cool slowly. All right. With no crystals around the outside edge of that pan, you get what's called a saturated solution. Okay, and so in this kit, they don't use sugar, but they use something called sodium acetate. It's one of the products of, have you ever done the volcano thing where you mix baking soda mm -hmm. and vinegar? Yeah. This is one of the products of that. Okay. So what you get are these like tiny little crystals, and this is what you dissolve in the water. And that's what I've done over here. I very, very carefully dissolved more solid in here than it can actually hold. Oh. And they're covered up by tin foil so that nothing falls in. Because even if a single crystal from this were to fall in one of those beakers, mm -hmm. it could suddenly crystallize. Really? So, for instance, wow, that's cool. carefully pick up this one on the front over there. Okay. And now it, it could crystallize just by you moving it, but let's just, just go ahead and pick it up. It's, yeah. And I'll take the lid off. Okay. And you keep holding it, and then here, I'll actually hold it. All right. You pick up one little crystal. Just one? Or uh, however many you can, and just drop it in the top and watch what happens inside. Did I get one? You did. Oh, I Look did. Wow. So that it's beginning crystallizing, crystallizing, because you provided one little seed crystal. That's amazing. And go ahead and feel it. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Same sort of stuff is used in hand warming packs. Oh, sure. It's an when exothermic reaction. It gives off heat. Now, now will that crack? No, oh no, well, it, it's all solid. Oh, it's, wow. it's a big hunk okay. of crystals. Now we could heat this up and, and turn it back into liquid again. That's amazing, because I could barely see that I even picked up a crystal. It was that I tiny. Know, but it gets better though, right? Okay. Because what we can do, in the kit they give you the small Petri dish, we're gonna use the larger tray here. Oh. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sprinkle some this crystals on This is our Petri dish, got it. This is our Petri dish. Now, pick up this beaker over here. We're gonna do the same thing. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get one too. We'll take the lid off. Okay. And what I want you to do is very slowly pour that liquid into the middle of the tray. All right. And those seed crystals are going to touch the liquid, and hopefully this, yeah, perfect. Just oh, wow. same, one spot. No, oh, one, one keep spot. One spot. Sorry. We're going to keep, and just go slowly. Okay. And watch what happens. As the liquid touches those other crystals below it, oh, wow. it begins to build up a pillar. Yeah. Keep, keep pouring, keep pouring, yeah. Um, that is so cool. All because, I'll try to do one over here next to you. All because of it's a super saturated solution. There's more solid in there than can actually stay in solution, and you can actually build up quite a tower I'm trying here. That is so neat to be able to do this. So essentially, this is what is in that kit? This is, um, well, we happen to have a little bit more sodium acetate sure. in our back storeroom. So um, I used quite a bit more to do this. But the kit actually provides you with quite a bit of stuff. And there's all sorts of other cool things you can do. In that was really nice. I'm trying here, that. Carl. I'm trying to impress you. <laughs> wow. Well, here. I'll let you finish off. I've never made oh. a solution that big. Ooh. That's okay, it's okay. okay. I never made one this big. Let's see, let's see what happens with this. Oh boy. Again, on the same tower? You keep doing on the same tower, yeah. Because no matter what you touch, all this material is still a seed crystal for the saturated solution. So I'll try to build off the top one I have over here. So we're just, yeah, this isn't working as well for me. But so we're just seeing oh, like oh, a- see, Look, mine just crystallized right inside oh. the beaker. So we're just seeing a massive reaction here. I mean, this is on a large scale, obviously. Yeah, it, it is something you can do at home. The sodium acetate is safe. Um, you could actually make it by mixing vinegar and baking soda together. Wow, which and we have. Another example you probably see at home is honey. Honey is a super saturated solution mm -hmm. because the bees are sort of flapping their wings inside the hive and they actually evaporate some water. And you've probably seen honey that's turned into crystals yep. in your container at yep. some point. Yep, and then you have to just you heat, it up. heat it up to get it back. Yeah. This isn't working so. quite as well. I think it's because the beaker is just so large, wow. but that's really cool. Well, but you know what? Not to let anything go to waste, let's, let's try to throw one crystal into the big beaker. Okay. So we'll throw a couple in and, Woo. and there you go. Oh yeah, very slowly you're starting to very see that slowly. reaction. But the whole thing is now turning into one mass of crystals because we've caused that solid to precipitate uh, into a crystal. Very cool. Well, this is the type of stuff that you can learn down here at the Imagination. The science behind 
all of those cool kits that you can get at the store. Carl, thanks for joining sure. us, and that's how you imagine it.